Hi, this is Scott with Chief Architect. In this video series, we're going to take a look at taking the exam for the National Kitchen and Bath Association for your certification in both the kitchen and the bath design. Throughout the video, we're going to take a look at the tips, the resources that Chief Architect and the NKBA have for you, and then specifically, we're going to take a look at the how-to process in the software using Chief Architect to create the four components required in the plan which are your construction, your floor plan, your mechanical plan, and typically a wall elevation. In the video series, we're going to take a look at using this kitchen as a sample that we're going to do the design work in. If you take a look at my completed sample layout, we're going to go through and we're going to complete four pages for the kitchen. Page one will have our construction drawings. The second page will be our mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, followed by the floor plan, and then finally the wall elevations. The NKBA allocates 72 hours for the timed exam. It's not necessarily about designing, so don't worry about the details for cabinet styles or moldings or colors if the project doesn't call for it. Remember, you want to save yourself some stress and get through this exam as quickly as you can. You want to make sure that you use the profile plan and layout plan that we've provided for you, and you can use it to practice. Make sure that you've practiced with it. Otherwise, just use what you're comfortable with. You can download this resource at chiefarchitect.com NKBA. You're required to submit both a bath and a kitchen project. In Chief Architect, consider having these separate files for each project since there's a lot going on in these files. These tips that we're talking about in using the profile plan are applicable to the premier version of Chief Architect. There are tools for annotation sets that are not in the interiors version, so make sure if you can use the premier version, it will make the process quite a bit easier. Using annotation sets will set up different layers, change your layer sets, and place items on various defaults, and you can learn more about using annotation sets if you want to go to our video playlist and search for annotations. There's a good video on learning more about it. In the profile plan, you're going to find different annotation sets and layer sets set up to be able to do your work easily and quickly. I'm going to talk through this, and you can download this PDF from again the website chiefarchitect.com slash NKBA. There are really three different important annotation sets and layer sets set up. First is your floor plan which is both the floor plan annotation set and the floor plan layer set. You'll use that for your floor plan. There's a mechanical and electrical set and the construction set and then there are general annotations for your wall elevation. Let's go into the program and take a look at how these work together and how they can easily be set up to create your deliverable for the exam. I have our sample plan open and when you open the template plan you're going to find these same annotation sets and layer sets built in. You can also download of this sample plan as well. First of all, the annotation sets that are most important are your construction, your floor plan, and your mechanical and electrical. When I change these annotation sets, I'll move it from the floor plan set. Notice that it turns on and off the different layers. It also controlled and changed, this is my layer set over here, and changed the layer set. If I change the annotation set to the mechanical annotation set, again, it turns on and off the different layers that we want and makes it very quick to change your different views. If I switch back to the floor plan set, notice that you can see the cameras that are saved. These are your sections. You're only required to do one section. If I open up this particular section, you can see that here's our wall elevation and it has all of the dimensions on it and I'll walk you through how to do that. It's using a layer set for the section view set when you come in here. Let's go through and explore how these annotation sets and layer sets work and then I'm going to jump into the program and show you how to apply them because it can be maybe a lot of information up front if you haven't used annotation sets and layer sets. So you notice when an annotation set changes, it also changes the layer set. It also does a lot more behind the scenes besides just changing the layer set. You can change these independently and it will say using active layer set. Let's change that back to the floor plan set. Let's see what else these annotation sets are doing behind the scenes because when you change your annotation set, go to our construction annotation. Notice when I change this, a bunch of the text and a bunch of the dimensions all go off and are on different layers. So these text items here are on different layers. If I highlight a piece of text here, notice it's on my text construction layer. If you look in the bottom 
uh, section of the screen. And when I go ahead and put new text down, let's use our text tool up here, and I'm just going to write some text. You'll notice when I type in the text here, it has a particular size and a particular look, and if let's double click on it and take a look at it. So here's our text, here are the attributes and information about the text. It's on a font, particular font size, and most importantly, it's on a layer called text construction. So I've set up text mechanical plan, text floor plan, and text construction. That way when you change your layer sets, various text goes on and goes off. And when you change your annotation set, it sets up the default so your text will go on a layer, your dimensions will go on a layer, and it just makes it a lot faster to do things rather than writing text, opening up, and changing your layer. So I wrote this sample text right here, and if I change this to my mechanical plan through my annotation set, notice that you can't see that text. I'll zoom out here a little bit. You can't see that text because it turned that layer off instantly for us. So it's a very powerful feature and should help you be very quick at taking the exam. That way you can focus on the design challenge that you'll have in the exam and meeting all of the guidelines. Okay, we've gone through a lot of information and I want to go through and open up our template plan for the plan file and the layout file and we'll go through step by step so you'll understand how the annotation sets and the layer sets work to help you complete the plan. In the next video segment, we'll begin that process.